नमस्कार दोस्तों गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर संजय कालरा योर फ्रेंडली एंडोक्नोलॉजिस्ट एंड यू आर वाचिंग डॉक्टर के के मेट टॉक्स मंडेज विद डॉक्टर संजय कालरा आज के हमारे नॉन स्टॉप शो का छह सौ तिरानवे सिक्स हंड्रेड नाइनटी थर्ड एपिसोड है नाउ दिस वीक वी आर रनिंग अ स्पेशल प्रोग्राम दिस इज बिकॉज फर्स्ट जुलाई विच हैपन टू बी जस्ट अ फ्यू डेज अगो वॉज डॉक्टर्स डे नेशनल डॉक्टर्स डे so this is uh, national doctors week that we are celebrating here and this is in memory of dr kk agarwal sir dr kk agarwal is the person who founded kk med talks he is the person who created the idea he conceptualized it and then he also uh, implemented it unfortunately we lost him about uh, 14 months ago but like he said before he left us the show must go on and that is what we are doing how do you keep the show going on to keep it by remaining fit mentally as well as physically so let's see what topic we'll discuss in today's episode special episode which commemorates dr k k agarwal's contribution to indian society to indian medicine and which also celebrates doctors day and doctors week let's have the headlines for today covid seems to show no signs of waning and it is through the bbc wimbledon uh, team uh, Nav- uh, martina navratilova is the latest star to test positive for covid at wimbledon in the united kingdom hospitalized cases of covid-19 are set to rise says their country's health chief india has also logged more than 1 lakh cases this week this is the highest weekly record the weekly score for the past 4 months and our deaths have increased 50% unfortunately so all we can say is just keep on being vigilant be socially vigilant take care of yourself and get yourself vaccinated if you've not done that right now tata 1 mg has announced health screening for 1000 doctors across india and the apple watch series 8 uh, is also able to now let you know if you are running a fever so this is another thing they can check for you that's how smart our watches have become but let's go to a smart topic for today physical fitness and diabetes do they go hand in hand are they the anathema of each other ye bilkul vipreet hai ek dusre se ya ek dusre ke sath ikatthe chalte hain let's find out and dekhte hain iske liye hamare guest kaun hai ek bahut special smiling guest hai hamare हेलो डॉक्टर संजय गुड इवनिंग हाय मिस्टर साहिल और आज के हमारे गेस्ट हैं मिस्टर साहिल मदान और इससे बढ़िया स्माइल आपको पूरी दुनिया में नहीं मिल सकती थैंक यू साहिल जी काम करते हैं मुंबई में सॉरी बेंगलोर में रहते हैं बेंगलोर में हैं मगर काम करते हैं पूरी दुनिया में और इस समय वो स्वीडन में काम कर रहे हैं ही इज करेंटली डायरेक्टर ऑफ क्रॉनिक डिजीज मैनेजमेंट सी डी एम क्रॉनिक डिजीज मैनेजमेंट फेबल केयर तो डॉक्टर साहब से भी पूछेंगे भाई साहब से कि फेबल केयर क्या होता है मगर और बड़ी सारी टर्बन्स पहनते हैं ही वेयर्स मेनी हैड्स डायरेक्टर तो है ही ऑफ क्रॉनिक डिजीज मैनेजमेंट ही इज अ सर्टिफाइड डायबिटीज एजुकेटर सो ही इज द पर्सन टू गो टू इफ यू वांट एजुकेशन इन डायबिटीज ही इज आल्सो इंडियाज फर्स्ट पर्सनल फिटनेस ट्रेनर स्पेशलाइजिंग इन टाइप वन डायबिटीज तो यदि आपको ये लगता है कि टाइप वन डायबिटीज के साथ आप फिट नहीं रह सकते या फिर टाइप वन डायबिटीज यू कैन बिल्ड मसल्स देन आई थिंक द पर्सन वी नीड टू गो टू इज मिस्टर मैदान not only that he is a philanthrope interested in public awareness and he creates a lot of uh, he spends a lot of effort and time creating fitness solutions for people with type 1 diabetes he is also conceptualized and founded fused training which is india's first type 1 diabetes health management startup not only that dia diabetes india youth in action that is also his brain child diabetes india so that means all of us living in india people with diabetes the youth especially let's see what action he encourages us to uh, undergo aur iske alawa ye sports nutrition specialist bhi to mr sahil ek baat to bataye itne sare log aapko greet kar rahe hain vinni joglekar ji nutritionist hain from bangalore from your city dr sanjeev puri hain from dasua in hosharpur in punjab swapna jain ji hain she is uh, just like you she is a patient advocate so just like you advocate for type 1 diabetes madam swapna advocates for people living with obesity and she is logged in from velor in tamil nadu uh, the mother jeswani ji hai ji bhi hai and mishra sahab bhi hai aapko jai shri krishna kar rahe hain uh, question ye hai ki itni sari topiyan aap ikatthe kaise pehnte hain how are you able to wear so many hats and so many turbans 
uh, first of all sir thank you for the introduction and uh, for inviting me here uh, this has been so i started my career as a electronics engineer but because uh, i'm living with type 1 diabetes uh, for the last 11 years uh, since 2011 so i always had uh, the experience of you know living with a chronic disease and there were a lot of problems that i faced in terms of sports fitness with type 1 and also i couldn't find any solution for it through fitness coaches or through dietitians or you know uh, online or offline so that actually pushed me to create my own solutions and uh, that's how i basically got my education in fitness diabetes and then i uh, basically started these programs which focuses on people living with type 1 now it can be type 1 diabetes management it can be sports solution fitness solutions or whatever problems that you know uh, in the community were there for type 1s or even for type 2 as well i started uh, putting uh, my capacity my uh, knowledge into that also taking help from doctors uh, like you and you know dietitians other fitness coaches to come up with a solution that is required by by the community to jo aapki padhai hai your education that spans so many domains engineering yes starting from engineering diabetes education yes sports nutrition yes and physical fitness yes that's exercise physiology to so, right. itne sare cheezon mein to inhone uh, uh, achievement ki hui hai mr sahil ne and how he has used all that education all that information is to create solutions physical fitness solutions for people living with type 1 and also type 2 diabetes Yes. मगर साहिल जी एक तो स्माइल का राज बताएं दूसरा ह्यूमिलिटी का राज बताएं आपने अभी अभी कहा कि यू यू आउट टू अदर पीपल यू रीच आउट टू डॉक्टर्स यू रीच आउट टू डाइटिशियंस एंड यू मस्ट हैव रीच आउट टू सो मेनी अदर पीपल सो व्हाई डू यू फील द नीड टू रीच आउट व्हाट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ टीम वर्क इफ समन लिव विद डायबिटीज और समन लिव विद एनी अदर क्रॉनिक इलनेस राइट आई थिंक दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ रीचिंग आउट टू अदर्स बिकॉज when i was living with type 1 as well and in the initial years uh in 2011 12 when uh, internet was not that strong in india we didn't had like now we have mobile phones internet is used by everyone in those years it was not that strong and i couldn't connect with other type 1s to mujhe lagta tha ki india mein main akela hi hu isko type 1 hai aur uh, of course mere sath meri family thi uh, doctors the jo mujhe treat kar rahe the but then also they didn't had personal experience of living with type 1 so that pushed me in terms of being vocal about it and you know finding other type 1s so jinse main starting mein connected tha those were majorly in in europe european countries or us but slowly i connected with other type 1s in india as well and that is how when i couldn't find the solution for all the problems i started approaching doctors dietitians fitness coaches to understand more about this you know uh, what exactly is the problem why there is no solution and uh, i never uh, felt shy to reach out to doctors or even to you know any professional for help or even for you know uh, doing a collaboration as well jo aap keh rahe hain you never felt shy ye to attribute hai haryana ka mere state ka how how do you happen to have got that i am uh born in haryana uh, sonipat haryana so i think that is uh, in blood maybe so being shy is not part of our dna we actually don't know what the word shy means but i was a bit introvert uh, uh you know before my diagnosis but i think diabetes uh, my diagnosis with type 1 actually helped me in terms of understanding a lot other things apart from just insulin or blood sugar levels it gave me a very big picture of you know what exactly is how will how we should live our life as well so the obstacle that you faced other people may call it an obstacle but you were able to convert that into an opportunity would right. that be right yes yeah prakash vadwani ji bhi aapka hardik abhinandan kar rahe hain sahil ji and anamika ji bhi aapko good evening kar rahi hain and a question that is coming from the audience is uh, our topic for today is physical fitness and diabetes so right. the question is um, what leads to what does physical fitness or lack of physical fitness lead to diabetes or does diabetes lead to lack of physical fitness right now if we 
again diabetes is a very broad term right there are different form of diabetes type 1 type 2 gestational diabetes and others as well but talking specifically if we talk about uh, type 1 that is an autoimmune disorders uh, so we don't really have to say that it is because of our lifestyle but uh, leading a, a sedentary lifestyle can increase our chances for type 2 diabetes so they that is interrelated physical fitness and uh, chronic disorders like diabetes are interrelated but we have to also be uh, in check in terms of what type of diabetes it is so if we are talking about type 2 diabetes surely our lifestyle uh, impacts the diagnosis the management uh, everything we do with with that right so ek to ye hame bataya ja raha hai mr madan ye bata rahe hain ki diabetes alag alag tarah ki hoti hai and that is something very important type 1 diabetes is different type 2 is different and aur aur tarah ki bhi diabetes hoti hain gestational diabetes pancreatic diabetes but zyada tar uh, sahil ji have you felt this kyunki type 2 diabetes itni prevalent hai itni right. common hai maybe 99% 98% of all diabetes is type 2 to so, jo 1 ya 2% type 1 diabetes hai those people they get lost they are not able to find their own place under the sun have you ever felt that yeah yeah absolutely uh, i think me and every type 1 who is watching this or uh, are there uh, they can totally relate to it because when also we used to tell that you know other people that we live with type 1 or we live with type 1 diabetes they were like okay matlab aapko meetha nahi khana hai ya fir you know there are specific things that they relate to type 2 diabetes which they might have seen in their family so it was very hard uh to make other other people understand specifically about type 1 diabetes generally in india mein i spec- i feel is just one single term diabetes so unko ye clarity nahi hai ki acha type 1 bhi kuch hota hai ya type 2 kuch hota hai ya gestational kuch hota hai diabetes is just a word that okay sugar ki bimari hai that's it ayush jain ji bhi yahi keh rahe hain she says exactly what you are saying and uh... Dr. Aris Chaudhary, sir, is a senior surgeon from Karnal. He has also joined us. He, he also greets you. So, अब ये जो है आप problem तो सही कह रहे हैं. Ninety nine percent of all people have type two. One percent have type one. In India and in most countries in the world, actually, we tend to club all these together. So, जो type one diabetes वाले बच्चे हैं या जो adults हैं, adolescents हैं, उनकी जो uh, unique requirements हैं, unique needs हैं, वो sort of they are brushed under the carpet gayab ho jati hain so uh, what are some of these needs mr sahil what are the unique needs of let us say a child and adolescent let's talk about adolescents and young men and women like you what are the unique needs which are different from those of people with type 2 diabetes right i think the the first thing uh, that comes into picture is the use of insulin while in type 2 not everybody is uh, is using insulin uh, a lot of them are on oral medications but with type 1 uh, managing insulin and food is is on the top priority which again is uh, the awareness about it and uh, the adjustment about you know how to use insulin is not very clear with with type 1s and uh, so and also because uh, there are kids there are adolescents there are teenagers young adults with type 1 they are engaged more in physical activity in sports in fitness so there is very less awareness about how to manage uh, the sports and physical activities with managing type 1 so how to use basically insulin when they are playing any sport or they are doing any physical activity that is the second uh, important thing i feel and the third i would feel is the uh, mental health support because uh, type 1 diabetes is a 24/7 job there is no break uh, even when you are sleeping you have to make sure the blood sugar levels are uh, in range so that impacts a lot of uh, you know that takes a lot of our space that you know whether we are going for a marriage we are playing we are doing we are at work whatever we are doing we have to manage our condition so it's a lot of pressure it's a lot of stress and uh, i feel there are very less there is very less support in terms of mental health counseling for that so that should be uh i think those are the three points that are very different from type 2 diabetes so three things that mr madan has highlighted for us number one jo dawaiyan hoti hain diabetes ki wo type 1 diabetes aur type 2 mein alag hoti hain insulin hota hai type 1 mein 
टाइप टू में भी कुछ लोग इंसुलिन लेते हैं बट उसमें भी जो रेजिमेंट होते हैं द रेजिमेंट आर डिफरेंट इन टाइप वन यूजली यू हैव टू टेक अ बेजल बोलस और फोर इंजेक्शन पर डे एंड यू मे नीड एन इंसुलिन पंप एज वेल दूसरा जो साहिल जी ने बताया दैट वॉज रिलेटेड टू फिजिकल फिटनेस स्पोर्ट्स गेम्स एक्सरसाइज ये एक एसेंशियल पार्ट है ऑफ एनी ह्यूमन बींग एनी बडी हुज ग्रोइंग अप एनी बडी हुज यंग एंड एक्टिव एंड वी नीड टू बी एबल टू सॉर्ट ऑफ बैलेंस अवर फिजिकल एक्टिविटी विद द नीड्स एंड रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ डायबिटीज मैनेजमेंट एंड द थर्ड ऑफ कोर्स इज मेंटल हेल्थ सपोर्ट एक और चीज भी लेंगे एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट फूड नाउ साहिल मोस्ट पीपल विद टाइप वन डायबिटीज आर यंग एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दम आर लीन एंड थिन तो उनके खाने के लिए और जो टाइप टू डायबिटिक है ज्यादातर इंडिया में लोग ओबीज या ओवर वेट होंगे उनके खाने में भी फर्क होता होगा तो वट डिफरेंसेज आर देयर एंड हैव यू एवर फेल्ट हर्ट बाई सोसाइटी बिकॉज पीपल डिडेंट अंडरस्टैंड यूर बेसिक नीड्स फॉर फूड राइट आई थिंक फूड इज वन ऑफ द मेजर पार्ट एंड कमिंग फ्रॉम इंडिया वेयर वी वी लव फूड एंड फूड इज टेस्टी ऑल्सो Uh, and currently because i i am out of india so i can totally uh, agree with you on that um but again the food requirement also uh, someone living with type 1 and uh, usually uh, someone who is diagnosed with type 1 is underweight and they have in in their diagnosis as well they lost uh, a lot of weight so they are usually you know trying to gain more weight or build muscle and because they are so scared to eat uh, and they cannot manage their insulin requirements that is one of the uh, major factors in terms of food that they don't understand and they start you know uh, having these issues with or maybe you can call relationship with food uh, that you know you cannot eat this or you cannot eat carbs or you cannot eat fruits in the starting i think this also impacted uh, my uh, diagnosis as well when i was diagnosed i was told that you know you cannot eat fruits you cannot eat carbs and that eventually led to a lot more uh, you know uh, weight loss because i was not eating enough calories so uh, and coming on to type 2 diabetes again uh, managing insulin is less there but again uh, food is a major part there as well uh, exercise and nutrition is major part there as well so uh, food is impacting both the type of diabetes but the mani- management is quite different because uh, on one side you have to manage insulin with it and on the other side it is more of oral medications so food is important and agar koi overweight hai obese hai unko to aap kahenge to restrict calories magar unme bhi aap yaad rakhenge that they have to have a balanced diet vitamins right. minerals ye pure hone chahiye proteins kam nahi hone chahiye otherwise muscle will vanish gayab ho jayegi और अगर कोई बच्चा है यंग पर्सन है टाइप वन डायबिटीज वो वैसे ही दुबला पतला है उसको आप बोल दो खाना बंद कर दो और बहुत सारे हमारे बाबा लोग करवाते भी हैं उनको बस ये होता है जी इंसुलिन बंद करनी है द एम इज नॉट कि लाइफ ठीक रखनी है बच्चे को तंदुरुस्त रखना है बच्चे को सौ साल का करना है द एम इज बस हमने टीका बंद करना है और हमने मीडिया के सामने शो करना है कि हम टीका बंद कर सकते हैं उसमें आप बच्चे को स्टार्व कर दें टीका बंद हो जाएगा पर बिल्कुल ऐसे ही तो है एंड साहिल जी इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम हरियाणा अगर आपने जीरी उगाई हुई है या आपने गेहूं उगाया हुआ है आप उसको पानी नहीं देंगे खाद नहीं देंगे तो वो जीरी उगेगी नहीं द द राइस या जो गेहूं जो वीट है इट विल नॉट ग्रो सो इफ यू वॉन्ट द प्लान टू ग्रो यू हैव टू फीड इट यू हैव टू गेट इट गिव इट फर्टिलाइजर यू हैव टू गिव इट वाटर एंड दैट्स वॉट टाइप वन डायबिटिक्स नीड नॉट मोर देन दैट राइट साहिल जी आयुषी जैन जी भी uh, आपके साथ सहमत हैं बट शी सेज़ पीपल जस्ट डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ फार अपार्ट टाइप वन एंड टाइप टू डायबिटीज आर सो ऑल द वर्क दैट यू आर डूइंग फेबल केयर एंड दिया एंड फ्यूज डू यू स्पीक अबाउट दिस टाइप वन वर्सेस टाइप टू there are uh, a lot of time there are discussions uh, about type वन एंड टाइप टू बिकॉज इट इज अगेन ओवरलैपिंग और पीपल आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट इट uh i also work with uh with type 2 uh diabetic people as well and also some other chronic diseases like hypertension uh, or pcos or weight loss as well so every i feel every chronic uh disease in india there is less awareness about all the disorders so not just type 1 but because type 1 a very less population of people living with diabetes live with type 1 so that's why there is very less awareness and uh 
there is a common uh, ground for type 1 type 2 or any form of diabetes or any chronic uh, disease and that i personally feel is diet uh, is nutrition and exercise because if we work on improving that all every aspect of that is improved so for example with insulin we are we are surviving with insulin we are not improving our health with insulin of course it will help us you know in absorbing the food the minerals that we are eating but again if we need improvement we need to work more towards the nutrition and exercise part of it so we have questions coming up both on nutrition and on exercise and also on social support so dr utsav sahu who is a leading physician a dietologist from new delhi and he uses the words culinary cruelty to describe what happens when people around you sahil when they keep on eating rasgullas and gulab jamuns without worrying about what's going on in your mind and sometimes when they force you they force feed you all these mithai saying kuch nahi hota kuch nahi hota that's culinary cruelty and he also uses the word dietary draconism dietary draconism is when sab kuch band kar denge bhi bas humne sare sugar wale bachon ka sugar ki sugar band karni hai kabhi mango ki shakal bhi nahi dekhni sungna bhi nahi mango ko that's dietary draconism so he uses these words and he says uh, now uh, adolescent have a type 1 diabetes or type 2 he is following a good routine sab bahut badhiya hai ab peer pressure to hota hi hai so you are invited for a night out uh, maybe to a dinner party or for an evening at the pub how do you handle such peer pressure and what I, advice would you give to other adolescents other young people i would 100% agree uh, with doctor that uh, you know these kind of things are there because when you even go to like you said to a dinner or any party or even you meet your relatives there is a pressure that okay they are eating they will they will offer you as well or sometimes they will push you as well yeah. uh and a lot of times uh because uh, specifically if we talk about type 1 a lot of people hide their condition as well so they have to maybe eat it as well pretend. Yeah. uh pre- or pretend to eat as well uh but all these things uh i think uh, how i have managed it is from the initial days only so my family was always open about it like they used to even if i'm going out on a marriage or with relatives everybody knew that i live with type 1 so that was uh, i didn't had to hide it maybe sometimes of course the extended relatives might not know or it was not in the news but still uh, people around me my friends my family everybody knew so i never had to hide it so that is the first important thing because when parents or their family start start hiding it then it becomes a problem so the patient or the user also you know starts hiding it and they find solutions for you know how to maybe t- skip insulin or you know how to not eat uh, the required calories as well when when i was growing up with with type 1 and it was i was diagnosed at 20 so that was the age when i started going out as well with my friends or uh, there there is the age when you start partying maybe so uh, a lot of times uh, when i used to do that i always made sure that i am not skipping my insulin dose so even if i am going out uh, to eat or drink with my friends or family i used to exactly count the carbs and take insulin accordingly whether i am in a in a marriage or in in a gathering of 500 people i used to take insulin so that was the first thing that i always uh, followed uh, and there there would be times when uh, you cannot really inject perfectly for a gulab jamun or some other indian sweet that is tricky uh, so that that used to happen but that was my uh, formula to take insulin and not skip insulin uh, by any chance so points well taken jo peer pressure hai agar ek to sabko bata dein you disclose your condition to people around you to peer pressure khatam ho jata hai kafi dusra don't hesitate don't feel shy in taking insulin correct and if you're going out let your insulin vial and syringe or your insulin pen also go out with you uske bhi outing karwa lo is that right yeah i don't remember in the last 11 years when i have stepped out of my home without glucometer and insulin even if i am just taking a 15 minute walk because i know uh, there might be chance ki wo walk karte mujhe hypo ho jaye my sugar goes down so how will i manage i should have glucose or some hypo tabs with me so it's it's a bit discipline as well 
what you have and to do. And you're right. And it actually your discipline predates what everybody is doing these days. These days, nobody goes out of home without their mobile phone or without their smartphone. <laughs> ऐसी जो हंड्रेड परसेंट मना है to a child or an adolescent or a young adult living with type 1 diabetes any exercise which is absolutely contraindicated can mm-hmm. i go to the top of mount everest if i want with type 1 yes diabetes? absolutely i don't think there is any physical activity any sports uh, any fitness form that a type 1 uh, cannot really do so you can go to mount everest and actually people with type 1 diabetes have done that can i go swimming can i go scuba diving if i have type yes. 1 diabetes yes absolutely uh some things may not be possible that would that would be in the professional domain so if i want to learn flying can i learn flying so there are of course guidelines uh, also depending on different countries how they uh, how they actually do that but uh, there i have seen few articles in i don't know if that was which was the country but there are people living with type 1 who are flying planes yes in india it may not be possible from a professional point of view but yadi aap seekhna chahte hain as an amateur that's all that's not an issue you can do that actually right right so, absolutely so ye to bahut clear ho gaya uh, thanks akanksha for asking the question and thanks uh, sahil ji for answering that that there is no sport no physical fitness regimen no exercise no game that is contraindicated you can do anything that you want ab right. next question aata hai what should i want as a person living with type 1 diabetes uh, take my age as 18 25 30 35 like, mujhe karna kya chahiye what is an ideal i think this is not again even for just type 1s but any human uh, that is there there are some specific physical activities like they should train uh, their muscles they should uh, train their heart and lungs so that is and that is how our fitness is also divided into different forms so fitness for uh, people living with diabetes or any other chronic illness doesn't changes so agar koi running kar raha hai uska effect it will be similar for someone who lives with type 1 or someone who is not living with type 1 physical activity kabhi bhi change nahi hogi so again to be uh, to be healthy to be uh, fit again we always confuse health and fitness uh, in terms of when we start exercising so health is you know when you are going for a walk you can do daily activities you can go to work easily you can cycle you can do the basic lifestyle things that is that you are healthy but fitness again is very different uh for if i take my reference i might be fit than uh few people and i might be less fit than few people right so fitness levels there should be a reference in terms of uh how i am lifting the weights or how much i am running so that is a very different concept but nothing changes uh, if you live with any any chronic illness fitness remains the same uh, how i will move my body remains the same my muscle remains the same of course there is uh, effect of the uh, the disease as well for example if i am living with type 1 diabetes for 11 years i have to find a proper solution on how to do that activity so agar mujhe weight lifting karni hai ya mujhe running karni hai ya mujhe swimming karni hai mujhe uska bas thoda sa process change ho jayega because i have to monitor my blood sugar levels jo ki uh, someone who is not living with diabetes usko apne blood sugars ki chinta karne ki zarurat nahi hai while someone who lives with type 1 or type 2 diabetes or any form of diabetes unko ye dhyan rakhna hai ki unki blood sugar range mein ho jab wo ye activity kar rahe hain उत्सव जी डॉक्टर उत्सव भी कहते हैं कि यू योर सेल्फ हैव मेंटेन योर सेल्फ वेरी वेल एंड यू हैव एन अमेजिंग बॉडी तो इसका राज बताओ एंड लेट्स लेट्स सेट अप सॉर्ट ऑफ स्पेसिफाई दिस सपोज आई हैव ओनली 30 मिनट्स इन अ डे फॉर फिजिकल फिटनेस या आई हैव 1 आवर इन अ डे फॉर फिजिकल फिटनेस मैं इसको कैसे इस्तेमाल करूं 6 आवर्स इन अ वीक और 3 आवर्स इन अ वीक आई थिंक वी शुड ऑलवेज एंड any if you have even 10 minutes per day that is better than not doing anything so it's better to move 
again uh, going to a gym is not always the solution uh, uh we have to focus more on how we are actually engaging our muscles as well and also our heart and lungs so it has to be a mix of cardio and uh, strength training a lot of people say that you know if you are 50 or 60 you do not require strength training but at every age uh, starting from a kid to uh, and someone who is old 70 80 they the the human anatomy remains the same so you require cardio as well and you require strength as well endurance as well stamina as well so that remains same and we have to if you have 30 minutes or 60 minutes per day you have to combine or get on a plan that involves both the things together एक प्लान बनाए जिसमें एंड साहिल जी के डी जोशी जी हमारे साथ लॉक्ड इन है वो कह रहे हैं 70 इज नॉट ओल्ड 70 इज वेरी यंग हम 70 में भी यंग है एंड आल्सो डॉक्टर प्रदीप रावल भी लॉक्ड इन है फ्रॉम उज्जैन मध्य प्रदेश राजदीप जी वी एक्नॉलेज योर क्वेश्चन ऑन मोदी आपसे इजाजत चाहेंगे वी विल रिक्वेस्ट यू कि इसका दोबारा किसी शो में आंसर दे देंगे आज एक बार फिटनेस पे फोकस करते हैं तो जो पॉइंट मिस्टर साहिल रेस कर रहे हैं दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जितना भी आप अपने आप को टाइम देते हैं लेट एस से यू आर गिविंग योर सेल्फ टेन मिनट्स अ डे लेट से यू आर गिविंग योर सेल्फ सेवन आवर्स अ वीक क्रिएट अ प्लान फॉर दैट उस प्लान में यू मेक श्योर के थिंग्स आर बैलेंस्ड थोड़ा सा एरोबिक्स या कार्डियो ट्रेनिंग थोड़ा सा रेजिस्टेंस एक्सरसाइज या मसल बिल्डिंग रिमेंबर के अपर लिम्स लोअर लिम्स बाजुएं टांगे तोरसो जो आपका ढांचा है नेक इन सब पे एक्ट करना है रिमेंबर ऑल्सो कि आपकी जो प्रोक्सीमल मसल्स हैं जो Uh, जो बाजू के ऊपर वाले हिस्से की या टांग के ऊपर वाले हिस्से की मसल्स हैं और डिस्टल मसल्स नीचे वाले हिस्से की हाथ पैर इन सब पे फोकस करना है सो ऑल द मसल्स शुड बी टेकन केयर ऑफ बट साहिल नाउ देर आर मेनी पीपल इंडिया हु आर एक्सरसाइज नाइव लेट्स से सेवन सेज आई एम फिफ्टी टू ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड आई एव नेवर एक्सरसाइज इन माई लाइफ तो वो पहले दिन जाके एरोबिक्स करें या वेट लिफ्टिंग करें गड़बड़ हो जाएगी सो वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी Right. balance exercises yoga and when you go to the gym why, why does the gym coach always tell you pehle warm up kare pehle stretching kare uske baad kaam pe lage why is that right so uh, of course when we have not uh, done exercise uh, in our life or even for example if you are doing it regularly we still need warm up or we need uh, a better blood flow in our muscles when we start training so when we go to a gym or any kind of training we are uh, muscles or our body is not warmed up so if it is not warmed up we might uh, end up in injuries so for example uh, i i got up early in the morning or maine abhi kuch bhi movement nahi kari and if you try you cannot stretch your arm fully but when you do stretch uh, warm up you can stretch it fully so the muscle actually engages fully and there is less chances of injury so any physical activity whether it's swimming whether it's running or uh, lifting weights it requires warm up uh, of your body that will help you of course prevent injuries as well and also uh, help you uh, in your performance how you do that physical activity so warm up stretching is important yadi aapne pehle kabhi bhi exercise na kiya ho it would be a good idea first to focus on flexibility right balance yoga and ek baar aadat se pad jaye then you move on to aerobics and also to uh, muscle building jo mr sahil ne point raise kiya that muscle building is important at every age uh, we cannot agree more you are very right kyunki jab hum muscles build nahi karte khas kar in indian population jahan pe hamara protein intake bahut kam hai many of us are vegetarians and uh, khas kar uh, jab uh, protein intake kam ho और एक्सरसाइज ना करें तो सार्कोपीनिया होता है मसल्स बहुत वीक हो जाती हैं तो जब मसल्स वीक होती हैं दैट लीड्स टू अदर डिजीजेस एज वेल सो दैट इज समथिंग वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन स्वप्ना जैन जी शेयर्स द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस एंड दिस इज मिस्टर जैन फ्रॉम वेलोर इन तमिलनाडु ही टेक्स इंसुलिन ट्वाइस अ डे ही इज 65 इयर्स ओल्ड ही ईट्स कार्ब्स एंड फ्रूट्स एवरीथिंग इन मॉडरेशन शुगर इज अंडर परफेक्ट कंट्रोल एंड ही चेक्स हिज शुगर्स रेगुलरली बट जो इन्होंने एक्सरसाइज किया अपना फिजिकल रेजिमेन ही डजेंट यूज अ वहीकल ही वर्क फ्रॉम होम टू वर्क एंड फ्रॉम वर्क बैक टू होम एवरी डे सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इज एबल टू लीड अ बैलेंस लाइफ सो आप साहिल जी राइट नाउ यूर इन स्वीडन वहां पे सड़क पे सैर करना और बैंगलोर में और सोनीपत में सड़क पे सैर करना वॉट इज द डिफरेंस सो दिस आई वॉज अगेन दिस वॉज 
actually one of the initial things that i noticed here or in any european country uh, i think it's there in every country because they have the their focus is uh, on uh, doing cycling or going to work on a cycle they have infrastructure for that they have climate also for that because in bangalore if we plan or in in north india delhi or uh, haryana we plan to cycle to our work it's not practically possible because of climate because of uh not having the infrastructure as well so there are a lot of things that of course contribute to it but here what i realized when i uh, came here as well and uh, someone who is around 45 50 the the average person who was training at the gym when, when i went there as well was close to 40 45 and uh, they were they looked uh, pretty strong at for what you know uh, our asians look at the age of 50 the even if you talk about the muscle mass or uh, the strength as well so that is entirely different and one of the major uh, uh, reason for that is because they do physical activity on daily basis there is no food delivery applications here there is uh, uh, very less cabs here so people walk people cycle people drive they go out uh, to eat in the restaurants instead of ordering it on the application so automatically they are moving their body in a better way so i think lesson for us is that we should move even more zyada movement kare zyada physically fit rahe yeah. uh, ek aur question aa raha hai sahil ji as a person living with diabetes how do we build muscles maine aaj tak muscle building nahi ki gym mein ja nahi sakta ya ja nahi sakti it's not uh, located in a comfortable place Yeah, I can't afford it. What can I do at home? How can I begin doing weight lifting and resistance exercises at home? Right. So again, uh, for building muscle, you don't have to go to a gym. You can basically uh, just start with body weight exercises. So running and everything, of course, you can just go out and run in a park. That is that's how you do cardio. And for building muscles, you have to do resistant resistance or strength exercises. so you can start with basic body weight workout and slowly when you develop some strength you can just have few dumbbells at your home and start working out at your home only with those dumbbells or whatever equipment that you can buy so it's very uh, it's also about uh, how when you are starting to exercise uh, having enough protein requirement uh, or protein consumption or other macros as well that is also important so if even if you do exercise and you are not eating the right nutrition you won't be able to uh, build muscles so exercise and nutrition both uh, akanksha ji puch rahi hai uh, if we take protein powder to fulfill our daily need of proteins does that help or not uh, absolutely uh, so i personally feel uh, so these are called protein supplements or any other supplement if you take the word supplement it is addition to your diet so if you are not uh, completing the requirements for your macros macros are protein uh, fat and carbs with your home diet home cooked diet then it's fine to add the supplement as well but again we have to consider that that is a uh, artificial artificial food so again using it for a long term is not as good as eating a home cooked food but it is completely fine to have uh, to take protein supplement if they are authentic so in india again there is a problem of uh, a, a lot of adulteration in terms of protein supplements so that is why you might see uh, a lot of people saying uh, not to use supplements but otherwise it's completely fine you can take any medical grade supplement yadi aapko diabetes nahi hai to koi bhi medical grade supplement le le jisme bhi high protein ho और यदि डायबिटीज है देन यू हैव टू टेक अ प्रोटीन सप्लीमेंट ऑफ कोर्स हर एक में कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स भी होते हैं कोई भी कह दे कि जीरो परसेंट कार्ब है वो गलत कह रहे हैं वो झूठ बोल रहे हैं एंड mm-hmm. अगर आप uh, को डायबिटीज है देन यू हैव टू टेक अ प्रोटीन सप्लीमेंट विच हैज अ लो ग्लाइसेमिक इंडेक्स या विच हैज हाई फाइबर कंटेंट हाउ डू यू चेक इन इंडिया एक तो गो फॉर अ ब्रांडेड कंपनी अ गुड कंपनी सेकेंडली यू जस्ट लुक एट द न्यूट्रिशनल कॉन्टेंट और पीछे आपको छोटे छोटे नंबर प्रिंट्स में दिखाई देगा यू नो प्रोटीन थर्टी calories sorry carbohydrates 42% fat 11% total should be 100 so many companies we have seen sold at leading hospitals so many brands where the total goes up to something like 210 mm-hmm. 
so the person yeah. who has written that he or she himself doesn't know hmm. what is being written right. and otherwise speak with your doctor speak with a friend and buy something good agar aapko protein supplement dikhta hai jo sasta hai that is a short sure short way ke ye galat hai ye theek nahi hai because jab aap aata ya chawal khareedte hain that is carbohydrate cereal to wo 10 20 30 40 rupees ka kilo aapko mil jayega the most expensive rice you will get for 100 rupees a kg jab aap protein khareedne jate hain आपने नॉन वेज खरीदना या दालें खरीदनी है या पनीर खरीदना है ऑटोमेटिकली द रेट गोज अप सो सोयाबीन हैज गॉट समथिंग लाइक 35 40% सोयाबीन कंटेंट दैट इज 200 रुपीस अ केजी 150 रुपीस अ केजी सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू गेट अ हाई प्रोटीन सप्लीमेंट दैट विल ऑब्वियसली बी एक्सपेंसिव तो वो भी एक ख्याल रखना है आपने साहिल जी आपको ग्रीट कर रहे हैं डॉक्टर एन एस शारदा सर इज सीनियर फिजिशियन फ्रॉम अहमदाबाद ही सेंड यू हिज ब्लेसिंग्स and he says that even laborers develop diabetes because of stress because of tension so what's the role of uh, uh, being tension free in physical fitness and overall fitness i think uh, that is very important uh, for anyone uh, uh, not just uh, someone who is in the corporate job or doing uh, some labor work i think there are uh, stress in everyone's life uh, only the reason changes but uh, again uh, when a lot of our immunity or i think you can also uh, put this better than me in front of the audience that uh, when you have stress a lot of your uh, immune system is compromised in lot of things and that is one of the reasons when we start developing stress for any reason there are high chances that we might develop uh, lifestyle disorders and Uh, in managing also uh, will for example if i am living with type 1 diabetes and uh, there are days at my work or in my personal life when i have a lot of stress as compared to other days i see my uh, insulin requirement getting high i see high blood sugar levels for that specific phase so it surely uh, impacts our management as well and also health in general so stress is important jab tension hoti hai jab stress hota hai whenever you are under stress to aise hormones nikalte hain aise chemicals nikalte hain body se which end up increasing glucose and blood pressure agar kabhi kabhi stress ho kabhi kabhar ho jaise bachche ne exam dene hain to you know once a year you go for your final exams twice or thrice a year you go for your term exams tab bhi tension hoti hai sugar bp thoda sa badhta hai but that is adaptive it is an adaptation it will help you pass those exams but yadi aap tension rakhenge 24 by 7 continuously 24 by 7 by 365 to continuously ye hormones nikalte rahenge which will increase your blood pressure your pulse rate and your sugar and iske sath chronic diseases aayenge not only diabetes but also high blood pressure balki ye jo hormones hain kai baar ye aise bhi kaam karte hain that they act on the adipose tissue and they increase obesity to iska khyal rakhna hai stress ka विनी जोगलेकर जी पूछती हैं व्हाट अबाउट स्किपिंग विद अ रोप इज स्किपिंग कार्डियो इज इट मसल बिल्डिंग इज इट गुड फॉर पीपल विद डायबिटीज इट सो फर्स्ट थिंग इट इज इट इज कार्डियो अ लॉट ऑफ ऑफ कोर्स योर मसल्स आर गेटिंग एंगेज इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर काफ मसल और लेग मसल्स बट दैट इज वेरी लेस देयर इज नो हाइपरट्रॉफी बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट with with skipping so it is if you see broadly it is a cardio because your heart and lungs are trained more and it is safe for diabetes uh not for people who have some kind of neuropathy or some kind of complication with diabetes but otherwise it's completely fine akanksha ji has a question is there any specific reason why people with diabetes are asked to take care of their feet especially why the feet and why not other parts of the body yes uh i think uh, this is one of the points that i have also always taken care of i have always uh, i used to use shoes i am i never going chappals outside or sandals outside because first thing is there are very high chances of uh, getting injured in your feet than any other body part because you are walking you are playing or whatever you are doing and second thing is it's very difficult if your diabetes is is uncontrolled it is difficult uh for your wounds to uh, recover so that is one of the important things and that is why uh, doctors or medical professionals tell people living with diabetes to take care of their feet uh jo hamari nerves hain the nerves which supply the feet 
all the nerves come from the brain, all of them. And the nerve that has to supply the feet that travels the longest distance because the feet are furthest away from the brain. So there are maximum chances of insult or injury to that nerve. Jabbi aapki nerves weak hongi, whether it is because of vitamin B deficiency or whether because of diabetes or any other reason, so jo feet wali nerves hain, they will be impacted first because their distance is the furthest from the brain. Similarly, for the blood vessels, jo khun ki nase hain, jo dhamniya hain, jo khun pochati hain, khurak pochati hain, puri body mein, they are also uh, all starting from the heart. And the blood vessels which supply the feet are the longest ones. They are the ones which are most exposed to insult or injury. So, this is injury is more than that. You will see that your hands, your legs, your body, 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 your But supposing you are a bit obese, you are a bit overweight, या आप आपकी फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी उतनी नहीं है मूवमेंट उतनी नहीं है तो आप अपने पैर देख नहीं पाएंगे प्रॉपर्ली तो वो भी एक इशू आता है कि समटाइम्स वी आर नॉट एबल टू सी आवर फीट प्रॉपर्ली एंड देन वी एंड अप मिसिंग सो मेनी हां एंड इट्स नॉट ओनली फीट इट्स द एंटायर बॉडी बट फीट का जरूर ख्याल रखना चाहिए सो थैंक्स आकांक्षा फॉर रेजिंग दैट एंड थैंक्स साहिल फॉर आल्सो पॉइंटिंग आउट कि जब आप जिम जाएं मेक श्योर दैट योर फुट वियर इज अप्रोप्रिएट यस Dr. Enes Shadda sir kare hai, take a history also if someone has got uh, uh, stress and uh, stress ka karan dhoondhe, karan dhoondhe hai toh automatically aapko hal bhi mil jayega, solution bhi mil jayega. What Mr. Sahil is talking about, uh, the fact that we need to reach out to each other, people with Taiwan diabetes reaching out to each other and reaching out to every member of the healthcare team, uh, nutritionist, the diabetes educator, the doctor, everyone. That's really important. That is what we try to do on KK Med Talks. So, we are doing this today. There is a question. This is from Creative Folks. A very creative name. Thanks, Creative Folks, for keeping this name. This brings a smile. Uh, type 1 diabetes, men and type 1 diabetes, women. Can they marry each other? Does the risk of diabetes go up in the offspring? Uh, I think... Uh... Looking at the numbers uh, in terms of uh, if you marry a type 1, of course, there are slightly more chances that the kid will uh, develop type 1. And if mm-hmm. uh, two persons uh, are marrying together uh, with type 1, there are slightly more chances uh, of, you know, uh, the kid developing type 1. So, of course, the chance increases. But also, uh, there was no one in my family who are type 1 and I got type 1. So, uh, I personally don't... Uh, believe in that uh, there are chances and there is the autoimmune spectrum uh, that might be in the family as well uh, which for example like started with me in my family so the risk of type 2 diabetes is much higher i think that is what we should worry about yahi message jana chahiye and aajkal ke aankde keh rahe hain 15% of every indian will develop type 2 diabetes so that is what we should worry about more and we shouldn't worry about the other things You're right एक इंग्लिश वर्ड मैंने रिसेंटली सीखा था साहिल सो वी स्पोक ऑफ द फीट एंड द फैक्ट दैट वी आर नॉट एबल टू सी आवर फीट एंड एन इंग्लिश वर्ड दैट आई रेंट रिसेंटली इज एक्नेस्टिस ए सी एन ई एक्नी जो एक्नी होती है फेस पे एस टी आई एस एक्नेस्टिस सो लेट्स आस्क एवरीवन इन द ऑडियंस व्हाट एक्नेस्टिस मींस एंड देन व्हाट इज द सिमिलरिटी बिटवीन एक्नेस्टिस एंड आवर फीट तो ये क्वेश्चन है uh we'll ask uh, pratik to put that up in the comments a c n e s t i s in the meantime what we have been doing this week is uh because uh, what what we have been doing this week is because of uh, doctors day and doctors week uh what we've been doing is that we've looked at the four most googled questions on our topic the five most Googled questions. So, those questions ek bar hain. So, first, if Pratik, you can put up the spelling, Acnestis, and then let's see if you can, if everyone can answer that for us, what that means. And this is our question. So, Acnestis is coming. And uh, now, Sahil ji, this question aapke liye. This is the most frequently Googled question on physical fitness and diabetes. And the question is, why does my blood glucose change when I exercise? Right. Uh, I think uh, this is a very broad, broad discussion uh, on this topic. But again, to summarize in, in few points, uh, 
with different form of physical activity different form of exercise if you are doing cardio uh, whether you are doing uh, high high intensity training you are doing strength or power lifting your sugars pattern will change according to that so there are different uh, effect on the blood sugar levels according to different type of exercise right and when you are doing it in in some exercises in some form you are burning more calories or you are uh, actually uh, putting in more effort than the other exercises so the pattern uh, in your blood sugar also variates differently and for example uh, in terms of high heavy weight lifting so what it does is it puts a lot of stress on your body so if i am lifting 100 or 150 kg according to my capacity for one time so that means i have to push my body for few seconds at a very high intensity and that releases stress hormones in my body and which eventually uh, increases my blood sugar levels as well it's a lot of science behind you know there is a uh, blood sugar dump from the liver as well which which raises our blood sugar levels so uh, but different form of exercises impacts our blood sugar levels in a different way and that is what we need to learn in terms of doing that physical activity in in a in a healthier way so point well taken and actually for this it was good idea to have expertise expert help and that is what mr sahil vadan actually specializes in in helping people with type 1 diabetes build a proper create a proper fitness regimen for them kai bar सिंपल वर्ड्स में अगर देखें हमारी बॉडी में चीनी है खूब सारी चीनी है खूब सारा ग्लूकोज है मगर उस चीनी को इस्तेमाल करने के लिए सेल्स में ले जाने के लिए अपटेक के लिए खासकर मसल्स में अपटेक करने के लिए हमें इंसुलिन चाहिए यदि शुगर और इंसुलिन का बैलेंस है बना हुआ है तो वो जो ग्लूकोज है वो सही मात्रा में हमारी मसल या फैट या लिवर में जाएगी और लाइफ ठीक रहेगी तो एक तो हमें ग्लूकोज सही चाहिए दूसरा हमें इंसुलिन सही चाहिए मगर रिक्वायरमेंट कितनी है मसल की वो भी नॉर्मल होनी चाहिए ऐसे नॉर्मल अगर सीधी सड़क चल रहे तो सब ठीक है अब तीनों में कोई भी गड़बड़ हो जाए तो अप डाउन हो सकता है सो एग्जांपल इंसुलिन खत्म हो गई आपने टीका लगाया था सुबह एक्सरसाइज आप कर देंगे आठ घंटे के बाद बारह घंटे के बाद टीका है ही नहीं बॉडी में टाइप वन डायबिटिक में देर इज नो इंसुलिन सो चीनी चाहे जितनी मर्जी हो इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू गोइंग टू द मसल दूसरा चीनी खत्म हो गई आप खाना खाना भूल गए छह घंटे हो गए पिछला खाना खाए को आप स्नैक लिए बगैर या प्रोटीन सप्लीमेंट लिए बगैर चले गए जिम और खूब सारी कसरत कर ली फिर शुगर लो होने का चांस है और तीसरा मसल कितना डिमांड कर रही है सडनली आपने बहुत ज्यादा डिमांड कर दिया मसल की तरफ से बॉडी ने जिंदा रहना है लिवर खूब सारा काम करेगा कि मैं अपनी मसल को बचा के रखू इसको बीमार ना होने दो इसको भूखा ना रखू बट कई बार वो मिक्स एंड मैच है वो बैलेंस नहीं बन पाता सो ये जो बैलेंस बनाना है and the fourth thing we will add is fluid water to so, chini kitni hai body mein kitna khana khaya hai kitna nahi khaya pani kitna hai body mein how much fluid there is sometimes you can get dehydrated in the summer in an indian gym teesra insulin kitni chal rahi hai aapki body mein us time kitna asar kar rahi hai aur chautha insulin ka demand kitna hai by the muscles in charon ko balance karna hota hai dr utsav gives the right answer acnestis is actually the part of our back hamari peet ka hissa hai बिटवीन द शोल्डर ब्लेड्स जहां पे आप अपना हाथ नहीं पहुंचा सकते वेर यू कैनॉट रीच टू स्क्रैच बट जिम में इसका भी हल है एंड डॉक्टर उत्सव सेज द सिमिलैरिटीज यू कांट रीच योर फीट समटाइम्स एंड यू कांट रीच योर एक्नेस्टिस सो आई गो टू द जिम एंड वंस दिस इज ओवर आई ऑल्सो गो टू माई जिम द पर्सन हु टेक्स केयर ऑफ मी इन सेक्टर फोर्टीन इन करनाल इज मिस्टर प्रदीप नरवाल सो ही टॉट मी दिस एक्सरसाइज एंड आप अपने दोनों हाथ पीछे ले जाए एंड सी इफ यू कैन टच बिहाइंड एक ऊपर और एक पीछे एंड देखो उंगलियों के साथ पकड़ सकते हैं कि नहीं दिस जब अगर आप पहुंच पाए दिस इज योर एक्नेस्टिस एंड ट्राई द ऑपोजिट साइड एज वेल सो साइल लेट सी कैन यू डू दैट आई डू दिस अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो आई कैन होल्ड हो गया हो गया वेल डन थ्री चीयर्स ओके सो एवरीवन शुड डू दैट सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन में तो पप्पू पास हो गया सेकंड क्वेश्चन लेट सी प्रतीक व्हाट द सेकंड मोस्ट गूगल्ड क्वेश्चन इज should i consult the doctor before undertaking any exercise regimen if i am a person living with diabetes so in this uh, not just the doctor but you should also consult a, a certified fitness coach as well before you start any exercise so the importance of 
uh, understanding and taking input from the doctor is whether if you have any complication or you should go for any test uh, before starting it. Uh, so that should come from the doctor. And when you start uh, the training, the fitness plan should come from a fitness coach. So it is a combination of uh different experts that you have to work with not just a fitness coach not just a doctor or a dietitian it is a combination of uh, all the experts so you should uh surely uh, consult your doctor as well and also your fitness coach so thanks for that and do reach out yeah the app type 1 your type 2 diabetes ke sath hai don't hesitate do reach out to the experts and do the best for yourself they'll all help you let's see the third question pradeep can regular exercise keep my diabetes and insulin levels in check so i'll ji uh i think uh, i have personal experience uh, in this not just in check but it will actually improve a lot of things uh five five or six years back when i was of course uh, starting on my fitness regime and my weight was around 60 65 62 kg and my insulin requirement for one day uh adding the long acting and short acting was close to 60 units so one unit of my uh, body weight per kg now after doing 5 6 years of regular exercise so regular doesn't mean i am in the gym 2 hours every day regular means 4 to 5 days every week different form of exercises that i have been doing for the last 5 6 years currently my weight is close to 70 kg and my total insulin dose is close to is between 30 to 35 units so i have seen that uh, requirement of insulin dropping because of better body composition because of uh, better routine because of better choices of food as well so uh, like i mentioned before as well nutrition and uh, exercise are the only things that will actually improve your condition yeah swapna so, jain ji bhi yahi keh rahi hai and uh, another shabash for you for being able to touch your acnestis she says it's a yoga pose so to your list of <laughs> achievements you can also add <laughs> expert at yoga yeah. jo uh, sahil ji keh rahe hain ki yadi aap uh, exercise karte hain to insulin ki requirement kam hoti hai that is true because what in what exercise will do is it will improve the insulin sensitivity of the insulin receptors in your muscles and also in your fat to jo taale hain sugar ke jo taale hain jinko insulin ne kholna hota hai wo taale exercise se khul jate hain jab exercise un taalon ko grease lagati hai aur kholti hai to hame chabi kam lagani padti hai to injection kam dena padta hai thanks sahil the fourth question for us is okay yes or no sahil bhaiya is it possible to build muscles with diabetes 100% yes and the proof is in front of us right and the fifth question and there are a lot more uh, not just me there are a lot more people uh, who have done that in india in abroad uh, they are doing competitions as well physical uh, uh, body building competitions but the important thing here is uh, to do that with managing your blood sugar levels i have seen a lot of times when in just you know for building the uh, muscles people don't take care of the blood sugar levels and uh, that won't help in a long run you might be able to build a good physique but if you are if your blood sugar levels are fluctuating for long time it will be a problem in the long run thanks and uh, our last question this is the fifth most googled question on physical fitness and diabetes what is better cardio or weight training for management of diabetes right uh, i would say a combination of both is better for for management of uh, diabetes because if, if you are just doing cardio or e, you are just running you won't be able to build muscle so that is again a problem or if you are building too much muscles but your heart and lungs uh are not healthy that will also be a problem so it's a combination of both the things uh that will help for general fitness a combination of both and uh, swapna jain ji bhi yahi keh rahi hain uh 
फॉर ओबीज पीपल जब आप वेट कम करना चाहते हैं तो बहुत लोग कहते हैं कि आई विल डू ओनली एरोबिक्स बट वहां पे भी रेजिस्टेंस एक्सरसाइज चाहिए समथिंग लाइक फाइव बाई सेवन एरोबिक्स अगर सात घंटे हैं जो आप एक्सरसाइज के लिए करेंगे पांच एक घंटे एरोबिक्स बट टू बाई सेवन रेजिस्टेंस इज मस्ट अगर आप नहीं करेंगे वट विल है लूजिंग वेट योर मसल्स विल बिगिन टू श्रिंक आपकी मसल्स गायब होनी शुरू हो जाएंगी वहां से वेट निकलना शुरू हो जाएगा एंड यू विल एंड अप विद वेरी वीक मसल्स एंड जो बेसिक फंक्शनैलिटी है बॉडी की उठना बैठना सीढ़ियां चढ़ना उसमें कुछ टाइम के बाद दिक्कत आएगी सो बोथ आर रिक्वायर्ड नो एडिंग ऑन टू दिस पॉइंट आई थिंक दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन मिथ दैट पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू फॉर गोइंग फॉर वेट लॉस दे बिलीव दैट कार्डियो विल हेल्प मोर देन रेजिस्टेंस ट्रेनिंग बट इफ यू सी रेजिस्टेंस ट्रेनिंग हैज मोर इपॉक इपॉक मीन्स द इफेक्ट ऑफ द ट्रेनिंग इन द स्ट्रेंथ सो इफ आई एम लिफ्टिंग वेट्स इट लास्ट फॉर मोर देन टेन आवर्स वाइल फॉर कार्डियो इट इज थ्री टू फोर आवर्स so after even after doing the exercise you are burning uh, for more hours than in cardio so that is just a myth again it's a combination of both that will work and uh, roshan singh ji puch rahe hain sir is it advisable to train every day of course we are moving it's like asking uh, whether i should walk daily or not whether i should get up from the chair daily or not its physical activity is movement and our bodies are uh, designed to move so you can do uh, training on daily basis but again uh, focus on the recovery as well not like you are training 4 to 5 hours every day and not uh, taking care of the nutrition and recovery so that is also important यहाँ पे साहिल जी वुड यू लाइक टू जस्ट एक्सप्लेन ऑफकोर्स वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड मोर देन अवर नाउ बट वुड यू लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन द सटल डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ प्रोफेशनल एथलीट एंड ऑल ऑफ अस दंस हु आर लिस्निंग तो ये जो क्वेश्चन है अबाउट ट्रेनिंग एवरी डे अबाउट रिकवरी लेट स्पीक अबाउट इट फ्रॉम अ नॉर्मल ह्यूमन बींग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड लेट एस जस्ट कंपेयर एंड कंट्रास्ट इट विद वॉट अदरवाइज मे बी बींग गिवन राइट नाउ एट एन आई एस पटियाला टू अ प्रोफेशनल एथलीट right so it's again very different also because uh there is a lot of influence when we talk about uh going to a gym or building muscles not every person every uh normal person who is not a professional requires that much hypertrophy or that much big muscles it is uh again the health that they need to focus on uh and not uh and not the uh skills so if we talk compare two people one is uh, a non professional they just need to take care of their uh, heart and lungs their muscles so they need a different kind of training but someone who is a professional for example in in football then he needs uh, a skill set to play that particular sport and a different fitness level as well so unka training will again go for from few hours to several hours and with training the diet the nutrition also changes you cannot do the same training with your with following the same nutrition of just home cooked food that is very difficult so they have their own training hours they have different uh, skill sets they have a uh, different requirement for the nutrition as well so we cannot replicate that but we need to understand as a human what are the uh, parameters for for health and fitness and we need to focus on that point well taken and roshan ji bhi aapko thank you kar rahe hain roshan ji ke sath sahil ji hum sab log kk med talk wala parivar sab aapko shukriya karte hain for sparing your thank time you so for us it's a such a different feeling that you have brought to the show today so your youth your vitality your enthusiasm that i think has influenced all of us and in a positive manner के के मेट टॉक्स पे हम रोज होते हैं सात से आठ बजे और मैं होस्ट करता हूँ ये शो एवरी मंडे एंड थर्सडे एवरी मंडे एंड थर्सडे वी ट्राई टू टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ हेल्थ विद एक्सपर्ट लाइक यू एंड हमारी कोशिश है हमारी मुहिम है कि भारत स्वस्थ रहे भारत तंदुरुस्त रहे और भारत स्माइलिंग रहे खुश रहे तो एक तो प्रतीक कुड वी शो सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ एप्रिसिएशन फॉर मिस्टर साहिल प्लीज थैंक यू सो मच सर साहिल जी एक सवाल दो सवाल पूछते हैं जाते हुए आ, पहला सवाल तो है कि आप पूरे इंडिया को क्या कहना चाहेंगे 
I think uh, in terms of uh, because this was a session again on on uh, physical fitness, so it's very important to move every every day, not just for physical health but also for mental health. So start moving. A lot of things will improve automatically. So start moving. Physical or mental health, dono ke liye. Or dusra uh, question aara. This is from another person known as Mr. Sahil Madan. He is one of the leading businessmen of Karnal. एंड uh, okay. आपके हम उम्र हैं आपके हम शक्ल भी हैं हम नाम तो है ही है वो शायद हम नफज भी बन जाएं कल को वो पूछ रहे हैं साहिल भैया मुस्कुराहट का राज बता दो इट्स जस्ट एंजॉइंग वट एवर यू आर डूइंग आई ऑलवेज लव टू यू नो टॉक अबाउट डायबिटीज और अबाउट दिशन दैट आई एम लिविंग विद एंड इट्स ऑल्सो वेरी good to connect with with doctors like you or medical professionals and uh, just to have a conversation and learn new things so uh, that is the only uh, i i can say the reason yeah so muskurahat ke raz do share kiye sahil ji ne ek to ye ke uh, enjoy whatever you are doing usme khush rahe and dusra reach out connect तो इसी के साथ हम भी आपसे इजाजत लेते हैं और रिक्वेस्ट करेंगे कीप ऑन रीचिंग आउट टू अस एनीथिंग दैट यू वांट इन द फील्ड ऑफ हेल्थ जस्ट लेट अस नो केके मेट्रोक्स इज जस्ट अ मैसेज अवे एंड वीरवार को आपको फिर मिलता हूं मैं ये हमारा स्पेशल एपिसोड होगा एक वेयर वील हैव वन आयुर्वेदिक डॉक्टर डॉक्टर वर्षा एंड वन एलोपैथ फिजिशियन डॉक्टर आशीष डेंगड़ा फ्रॉम जबलपुर इन मध्य प्रदेश एंड दे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ आयुर्वेद एंड एलोपैथी आर एक्चुअली टू वेज टुवर्ड्स द सेम ट्रूथ टुवर्ड्स द सेम गोल और वो हमारा गोल है स्वास्थ्य सेहत तंदुरुस्ती ये सब के साथ आप सबसे इजाजत लेते हैं स्वप्ना जी का भी पॉइंट शेयर कर रहे हैं स्ट्रेस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ सो डोंट वरी अबाउट इट जस्ट स्माइल बिट द वे साहिल इज डूइंग वॉक अ लिटिल साहिल इज हर बार उन्होंने कहा है मूव 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 एंड स्टे हेल्थी आपसे इजाजत लेते हैं लेट्स बिगिन मूविंग मैं जिम जाऊंगा प्रदीप इज वेटिंग फॉर मी साहिल हैज द फुल डे अहेड ऑफ हिम एंड सबके लिए डोंट फोगेट टू टेक योर पोस्ट डिनर और प्री डिनर वॉक बिफोर यू गो टू बेड टू Good night and jai hind